Hi, this is Saravanan, Department of Mathematics, RMD Engineering College. Welcome to the lecture series on Algebra and Number Theory. In this video, we will learn polynomial rings in second unit uh, finite fields and polynomials. To learn these concepts, you must know the basic concepts of groups and rings. If not, please watch the relevant uh, videos. First, let us uh, recall the definition of ring. A non-empty set R together with uh, two binary operations plus and dot uh, called addition and multiplication, which satisfies the following condition is called a ring. First condition R plus is an abelian group. Condition two, multiplication is associative. Condition 3, multiplication is distributive over addition. An expression f of x equal to a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus a n x power n where n is a positive integer and the coefficients a0, a1, a2, an are elements of r is called a polynomial over r. The set of all polynomials with constant coefficients in r is denoted by r of x. If a n not equal to 0, the leading coefficient a n not equal to 0, then the degree of f of x written as teg of f of x is n. We are going to perform addition and multiplication of polynomials. Now consider two polynomials f of x and g of x in r of x. Then f of x plus g of x equal to a0 plus b0 plus a1 plus b1 into x and so on. The coefficient of x in the new polynomial is equal to the addition of coefficient of x in the first polynomial and coefficient of x in the second polynomial. The product polynomial constant term is a0 into b0 and the coefficient of x is a0 b1 plus a1 b0 and the coefficient of x power n plus m is a n into b m. Now consider the theorem. Theorem 1, let r be a ring, then r of x with respect to addition and uh, multiplication is a ring. Consider the polynomials f of x and the g of x in r of x. The coefficient of the sum of polynomials and the product of two polynomials are element of r. Therefore, the sum and the product are elements of the sum and product of two polynomials are elements of r of x. The zero element of r of x is the zero polynomial. And uh, in addition, if f of x is a polynomial in r of x then minus f of x is the additive inverse of f of x in r of x. Also f of x plus g of x equal to g of x plus f of x. This is true for all f of x g of x in r of x. Hence r of x is an abelian group with respect to addition. The problem is to prove that r of x is a ring and it is enough to prove that multiplication is associative and multiplication is distributive over addition. To prove that multiplication is associative, let us consider three polynomials f of x, g of x or h of x in r of x. Given that r is a ring and therefore multiplication is associative in r. That is the coefficient of the polynomials satisfy the associative property. Therefore, the coefficient of x power i in the product polynomial f of x dot g of x into h of x is the same as coefficient of x power i in f of x into g of x dot h of x. Hence, multiplication is associative in r of x. And in the same manner, we can prove that uh, multiplication is distributive over addition. Hence, uh, R of X is a ring under the two binary operations addition and multiplication.
theorem 2 states that r of x is integral domain if and only if r is an integral domain to prove this theorem first let us recall the definition of uh, integral domain a commutative ring with identity having no zero divisor is called an integral domain let us consider r is an integral domain and it is enough to prove that r of x has no zero divisor and it is enough to prove that r uh, that is the product of two non zero polynomials is again a non zero polynomial now consider two polynomials f of x and g of x which is a non zero polynomial that is uh, an for f of x an not equal to 0 for the second polynomial g of x bm not equal to 0 now perform the uh, product uh, polynomial product f of x into g of x since uh, r is integral domain therefore r has no zero divisor an not equal to 0 bm not equal to 0 implies uh, the product am into bm an into bm not equal to 0 therefore the uh, polynomial product f of x into g of x not equal to 0 that is r of x has no zero divisor hence r of x is an integral domain conversely assume that r of x is an integral domain it is enough to prove that r is an integral domain but we know that r is a subring of uh, an integral domain r of x and uh, 1 is an element of r hence r is an integral domain in particular if r is a field then r of x is an integral domain because if r is a field we know that every field is an integral domain therefore r is an integral domain by previous theorem if r is an integral domain then r of x is an integral domain so the, this implies that if r is a field then r of x is an integral domain theorem 3 states that if r is an integral domain and f of x g of x are two polynomials in r of x then degree of f of x into g of x equal to degree of f of x plus degree of g of x to prove this theorem let us assume that r is an integral domain since uh, by theorem 2 if r is an integral domain then r of x is also an integral domain that is r of x has no zero divisor this implies that uh, uh, product of two, two non-zero polynomials is again a non-zero polynomial uh, now consider two non-zero polynomials f of x and g of x in r of x for the first polynomial a n not equal to 0 therefore degree of f of x is n and for the second polynomial g of x b m not equal to 0 therefore degree of uh, g of x is m uh, now perform the product uh, f of x into g of x since r is an integral domain a n into b m not equal to 0 therefore uh, degree of f of x into g of x equal to n plus m here n is uh, degree of f of x and m is degree of g of x therefore degree of f of x into g of x equal to degree of f of x plus degree of g of x uh, 